Governor of Benue State Samuel Autumn today instituted a 60 billion naira suit against Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs Senator George Akume at the Makodi High Court. The suit number MHC-268-2021 was filed by Okon N. Esof San and four other lawyers. Governor Autumn is seeking 50 billion naira as general damages for libel and 10 billion naira as exemplary and aggravated damages. The writ of summons was backed by a 17 paragraph statement of claim. In the statement of claim, Governor Autumn is seeking a declaration that the text of Senator Akume's press conference on 30th August 2021 in Abuja and the reports in various national dailies is scandalous, malicious, and injurious to his person. He complained that the press conference was intended to lower his estimation before right-thinking members of the society and to expose him to hatred, contempt, and ridicule. The governor is seeking perpetual injunction restraining the defendant by himself or through any agent, servant, or previous from similar or further publication of any defamatory statement against him. No date has been fixed for the case yet. All of this started by Governor Autumn um, calling on President Mohamed Buhari's government. There are plans to Islamize the country, to forcefully take the land uh, of um, Nigerians and to uh, infiltrate all um, ethnic uh, uh, regions with Fulanese, to, for Fulani to take over the whole country, talking about um, reserves in uh, uh, um, the states. Why are they bringing these back? Autumn has kicked against it that never it will not happen. You know, he has always maintained that over his dead body, he has to die first before President Mohammed Buhari will take uh, their land and give it to Fulani headsmen. That there is no, he's always insisted there is no land for Fulani in Benue State. And he's always talked about um, the activities of bandits. That why is Buhari's government not decisive about dealing with all of this? So all of this started from there. And after uh, Autumn started calling, uh, speaking against Buhari's government. And if we look close, it's not a, a case of um, opposition that because he's in PDP and he's just speaking from opposition, that's not the case. Autumn has had a first-class, first-hand experience with these bandits. He, he's escaped death himself, first-hand. You know, he gave a press conference immediately after the incident at some point in the year. I, I can imagine the trauma. That is not what someone would uh, want to experience. It's very traumatizing. So after that time, uh, Autumn has been calling on President Mohamed Buhari. Even after Buhari went to look for Nam Dekano in Kenya and uh, arrest, rearrested him and brought him back, Autumn has been saying that, leave these people alone, leave agitators. They are not the problem of the country. They are not the ones who are looking for. These guys are not causing any problem. They are just freedom fighters. Autumn has been speaking and pointing out uh, uh, various um, lapses in President Mohamed Buhari's government. As a result of him doing all of this, um, he's received a lot of commendations. People are even praying for him that this man is brave. He's very brave um, for speaking up like this, speaking to President Mohamed Buhari. You know, last week, he was like war of words between Autumn and Presidency. Autumn will fire one, Presidency will fire another one back. And uh, there was one that was very interesting. Autumn said, leave the messenger alone and attend to the message. Forget about the messenger. That was um, during the time he had an interview with him. Um, channels television and buhari was going after the presenter and the person that uh, anchored it that uh, why would they give that audience you know that interview <laughs> anything that goes online we know when the technology a jet age it will go around even those that were not in nigeria uh, uh, uh got they had access to that interview and that thing wanted to kill buhari he was so so he was so mad about it and that was how they started firing him back and front and back. But um, he's never relented. He's never changed his position. He's um, continued. And he's gotten a lot of commendations. People are praying for him. Even um, yesterday, it was Primate uh, Elijah Ayodele who said that um, God will see Autumn through. God will keep him. That, um, But he should know very well that he's going to be betrayed very soon. Some persons who he thinks that are with him that very soon, they are going to uh, go the other way. Anyways, as some persons are speaking well for him, congratulating him uh, for his courage and bravery, that is, as some other persons, the ones that are APC card carry members, loyalists to President Mohamed Buhari, of course, he has to be loyalists to President Mohamed Buhari, who would stand on the other side. Because what Autumn is saying 
is what the uh, what uh, uh, the masses are, are crying out for. He's speaking for the masses because even uh, now the Kano that he spoke from, they are not from the same region, but we can see that he just is calling for justice. Let it be justice. Let it be fairness. Let it be equity. Uh, that is the same thing these freedom fighters are are looking for. So anyone who is a uh, um, of the uh, of a different opinion from what Autumn is stating, we know those people are Buhari's loyalists. Akume, Senator George Akume uh, released time bomb and spoke a lot against uh, the person of Autumn. What Autumn has just done right now that he's just instituted is a suit, legal suit against um, the senator, sixty billion naira. That no way it will not happen. And Autumn, let's not take him for a joke. You know, he doesn't, you don't try mess his name around when he knows his hands are clean. You will land in court. Trust me, he will follow you to the end. Remember what he did to Adam Sushomole. Adam Sushomole started uh, asked, pleading, let's settle out of court, please. Can we settle out of court? Can we? They started negotiating and all of that. And Autumn gave, gave him the, the conditions that uh, these are the conditions. You have to do this and do that. So that is what we are starting again with Akume. So he just instituted this uh um this legal suit, fifty I beg your pardon, sixty billion naira suit against the Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs, Senator George Akume, at the Makodi High Court, and he's stating that of the sixty million, fifty billion is for general damages. Uh, for libel and 10 million as exemplary and aggravated damages that uh, you don't just come and speak against him he knows his hands are clean i believe he if he if he doesn't think that um, he's on the right path if he's not doing the right thing he will not um, be putting out this suit he believes very well that all of the things he stated they are uh, very clearly what buhari's government is into sponsoring terrorism in the country giving room to fulani headsmen to carry out their havocs not ready to end this uh this insecurity governor autumn is stating that this man has to pay for damages that uh, all his all he has done to him through that um his statement and the conference he had is to expose him to hatred and contempt and also ridicule and as a result that he needs to pay so the governor is seeking a perpetual injunction also restraining the defendant by himself or through any other agent servant or previous from similar or further publications of any defamatory um, statement against him. The, uh, no date has been fixed yet. This is just the beginning. We'll see how all of this goes. But let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.